Hey, this is John from Alloy 211. In this video, we're going to be comparing the steel penetrative abilities of German World War II 7.92 by 57 APT armor piercing tracer ammunition to remanufactured fed arms steel core 7.92 by 57 Mauser. Now we're going to be testing this against two different media, one inch mild steel, which is what we have in front of us, and 3 8 inch AR400 abrasive resistance steel. And before we get into looking at the numbers and how they actually performed against the targets, Let's go ahead and take a look at some shooting of the targets. You know, maybe that'll be interesting to see what they did when they actually hit. So we'll be back in a minute to see actually how deep the APT round penetrated compared to the steel cord fed arms. Okay, now that we're back from seeing how they shoot, let's go ahead and see what they did to the targets. Now, I was really looking forward to doing this video because this is the first time that we've actually had a chance to test armor piercing AP ammunition, hardened core ammunition against our steel targets. Previously, we've tested lead core rounds and mild steel core rounds like the Fed Arms here and the Narenko. Well, this is the first time we tested the Fed Arms specifically, but other mild steel core rounds. And we've seen what they've done, and it's kind of lackluster results when you look at it, especially when we get to the hardened plate. So I was really looking forward to seeing what the AP would do. And it's significantly different than what a mild steel core round will do. And we'll see that borne out here in a moment. We'll go ahead and take a look at the fed arms. The overall penetration into the mild steel was about half an inch, 0.52 inches, or 13, a little more than 13 millimeters which is not really very much you know it's pretty shallow um, really something that we've seen generally with a lot of the mild steel core rounds when we shoot them into the mild steel they go in about a half an inch maybe five eighths and that's about it now to compare that with the AP round that penetrated to a depth of about oh, let me see here a uh, point eight four a little more than 13 16 a little less than seven eighths of an inch now we'll go ahead and take a look at our plate from the side now this is not the best visual comparison but that's about how deep the fed arms penetrated compared to our AP round which nearly made it through the plate in fact I think if it hadn't hit right here beside my horribly goobered weld on this uh, stand plate I think it may have actually penetrated through the back a little bit it may not have gone all the way through but wow, it really, and let's see if we can get a good look down into this hole. You can see how pointed and cone-shaped that hole is compared to our large mushroomed out fed arms. And this is generally what we've seen these rounds do, the mild steel rounds like that, where they penetrate and they just expand. As you can see from the AP round, it doesn't do that. Now, mild steel is cool. But mild steel isn't what this was made to go through. This is made to go through hardened steel. And as we've seen before, in some of our other tests, mild steel core rounds don't do much against a hardened plate. Well, not hardened. This is 3 8 AR400 abrasive resistant steel. I use this for all of my targets. It works quite well for it. And as you can see here, 
we have our fed arms which i'll go ahead and zoom in on it a bit has a nice big kind of spalling area there but didn't penetrate the plate much at all in fact the fed arms penetrated the 3 8 ar 400 plate uh, 0.016 inches so not much at all now if we compare that to our actual german ap t round it nearly penetrated through the plate this is a 3 8 inch thick plate it actually miked to uh, 0.389 oh yeah no it miked to 0.389 and the round actually penetrated Let's see if we can get it up here so you can see it uh 0.389 it actually penetrated through the back it may have been a little deeper i just couldn't get my uh, caliper down in there but as you can see it actually cracked through the back of the plate and i want to put a cavet here because i did have to reload this ap round into a different case because these cases as you can see on this one two of these rounds failed to fire so if you watch my video you know about the potting powder inside the round you'll see that i had to pull this bullet and put it into another casing so it may have actually been going a little bit slower well not this particular one but the one i did shoot but this is an amazing difference of penetration and this really shows you what a hardened core is meant to do against armor plate compared to something that's just a mild steel core a mild steel core is going to dent it i mean a full metal jacket may have dented it almost that much and bounce off or shatter but it's not going to penetrate like that so when people are telling you they have mild steel core rounds and they're ap that's that's just not true an ap round because i've seen 30 out 6 ap do the same thing to this stuff is going to penetrate it like that maybe even perforate it so the next time you go to a gun knife show or see online someone has mild steel core rounds well there's a stark difference between a mild steel core and an ap round now i'd like to do some more ap testing in the future we'll see what i can find um i have one round left of that and i think i'm going to just keep that hole just like that so thanks for watching if you found this informative i'd really appreciate a like if you watch some other videos you enjoy those too i'd really appreciate if you subscribed so thanks and have a great day